Hello beautiful people. In our previous episode we saw a beautiful flower form in the Fujiera Emirates. If you haven't seen, please click the link below or it's going to pop up on top. Just click go watch it and come back. Anyway, people who are going to visit this farm, please don't forget a 20 minutes drive from this place will take you to a beautiful museum and a flag fort, which is what we're going to see today. Well, another drive. Don't miss this place. There's a museum and a flag fort. Uh, so yeah, I'm here to this museum. Let's go check it out. I didn't expect that this museum will have a collection of so many antiques. People who are born 80 and above, you will not be surprised because you're going to see some things which was regular before 80s, like those TVs out there and those boxes which you must have been using. But for the younger generation, these TVs and these boxes were antiques. One thing was very common in this museum was Arabic style pistols and guns and also single barrel guns and many beautiful swords. I know you must be thinking these phones are antiques. Yes, when I used these were antiques but yes this phone was antique. I have never used it. But for this generation this is totally new. I haven't tried this. I was surprised to see forks and spoons were kept as antiques but forget it I did see some old coins and old number plates and again guns more and more of guns and this way scale yes it's been long I've seen this but again for the younger generations I think it's something new Once you finish the museum tour you just come out behind the museum building there's a small trail which will take you to another beautiful spot down the valley Here again you will see a room full of antiques photographs and again a lot of lot of guns but the very important thing you have to notice here is the royal bloodline picture which will tell you the exact royal bloodline of the ruling king Once you finish the museum you step out you will see a beautiful resting area also an arabic style tent where you can take some rest there is a well which has been used by the tribes for centuries and you can have a look at it in a nutshell this place is very beautiful and calm you can also stay here overnight if you're interested i will leave the details in the description below I feel this place will be more beautiful during the winter. So if you're planning for some family events or get-togethers or birthday parties, you can choose this place. You can have a calm and a peaceful celebration. All right guys, welcome to the flag fort. 
This is a very, very tiny little fort, but it's beautiful. There's so much of flags here. Now I'm inside the flag fort. It's a tiny little fort. You can see the steps down here. It's all tiny, tiny steps. I think this is like somewhat like a watchtower, but it's pretty nice, especially this place. So tiny doors, and all the history here. There's another tiny door here. You can step out. And then yeah, you can come out of the fort. That's it. There's another watchtower there. It's a pretty nice fort, guys. It's good for a photo shoot. I think, I think I'm almost done with this outskirts of Dibba. Beautiful valleys and farms and tiny, tiny mountains. And it's not crowded at all, like city and literally you'll feel like you're in another country but i think apart from the farm and cactus farms and then tiny tiny forts and mountains there's a beautiful hiking trail here uh, if you got to check it out now my next journey is towards fujera but i will take the road towards dibba cover the dibba city and then go to fujera but i think i have another one or one and a half month before the climates get hot in middle east and there is going to be a road trip guys around all seven emirates so I'm planning for that. I'll keep you all posted. Till then, this is Freddy signing off.